Dr. Nambala says retired pastor Nafin and bishop-elect Dr. Ngoichi were respected church leaders who carried out their work with pride and commitment. The death of Dr. Ngoji, he added, is a blow to the church as they were looking forward to his consecration in November. He was to replace Dr. Nambala, who is going on retirement. Dr. Nambala knew the late Ngoji since 1986 when he became the pastor from Daungilo Parish in Ohamwena, where he served for 10 years. He described him as a peaceful man who was committed and dedicated to the service of people and entire humanity. It was because of his uh, commitment to work, he was given a chance to continue his studies, which he did diligently until he reached the degree of philosophy, Doctor of Philosophy. Again, after his studies, he was called back to the executive secretary position in the Eastern Diocese. Dr. Ngoji, he added, could easily relate to everybody, irrespective of their age or position. The late Ngoji also worked at the Bible Society of Namibia as a team leader for Oshuambo Bible Translation Project from 2015 until the time of his death, where he translated Oshindonga and Oshkwanyama New Version. Magdalena Ngamwa worked along Ngoji as an assistant for three years. Because it's just a sudden death, we are deeply hurt. We are still in denial. He left so much gap in our lives, be it in our Bible translation or Bible Society of Namibia at large. He is that person when we are with him, he would he is like a parent to us. He nurtures us. He mentors us. And he knows all of us. Ngoji's memorial service will be held at Okongo this Friday and burial on Saturday at Okongo Cemetery, while Nafine's final ceremonies are slated on the same dates, however, at Oshinyadila and Old Ongwediva Cemetery, respectively. Tonate Naimbodi, NBC News, Shakati.